Synergy, the combined healthy action of every part of the system. Teamwork. Self-reliance. Commitment. Trust. Creativity. In 1981, Digital Equipment Corporation started building a new facility in Enfield, Connecticut. A plant that was to produce electronic modules for digital storage systems products. At that time, leaders at Digital saw a unique opportunity to confront head-on the problem of declining productivity in the American workplace. They envisioned a high-performance system that brought the human factor back into the manufacturing equation. The Enfield story begins with a vision that integrates state-of-the-art manufacturing technology with the concept that people want more from their jobs than just a paycheck, that if given the opportunity to be self-directed, valued individuals, increased productivity is an inevitable result. Over the course of the next year, Bruce Dillingham, the plant manager at Enfield, worked with a team representing a cross-section of manufacturing functions to analyze the Enfield manufacturing environment in terms of the six components of what has come to be known as the STAR model. Work to be done. The profile of skill and knowledge and number of people needed. The physical and organizational structure. The decision-making process and the information systems to support them. The reward system. And finally, the renewal system, a method of self-appraisal. Each component of the STAR model is tightly linked to the others. Like a gear chain, if one moves, the rest follow. Specifically at Enfield, if one changes, the rest must be adjusted to fit. The outcome? Excellence was achieved in the areas of product cost, quality, and reliability, time to market, asset management, and the quality of work life with the bottom line of hard numbers always considered in the context of potential human needs. Work here is, is different because of the way it's structured. Rather than having well-defined jobs, which people don't, take, don't go out of, you, a, a group of people owns a large chunk of work. That is getting a product uh, from start to end. And it's an exciting way to do business because you have control over all of the small parts that go into getting that work done. The inside of the Enfield plant looks much less like a factory than one would expect. At first glance, it appears to be a random assortment of machines and desks. The plant is light and open, with a liberal use of trees and plants throughout, and recreational facilities designed in. Without the traditional assembly line, where people remain at the same job all day, people and equipment appear scattered, but there's a real and practical purpose to this arrangement. Here, each board is put together from start to finish by an operating team. Up to 18 people on each operating team divide the work among themselves and are responsible for the total assembly process of the modules, from delivery of the raw materials to shipping of the finished product. Each person is able to perform all of the steps in the making of the module. The operating teams are at the core of Enfield's design, and they are given a significant amount of responsibility teams meet daily with a standard agenda to discuss and resolve issues of output, materials, attendance, performance, and quality. The work necessary to build a product at Enfield was closely examined to eliminate unnecessary steps or variances in the manufacturing process. A team of people experienced in building modules identified problems and designed them out of the process when possible or developed controls to correct them. Because of variance analysis, separate inspections at each level of assembly and testing of incoming materials were eliminated, saving both time 
and the need for additional personnel. Really here, everybody's a teacher and everybody's a learner. But people take responsibility for their own learning here. We, we provide the resources, we provide the tools, and we enable that to happen, but people have to take the responsibility for their own training here. This place fosters taking risk, but not feeling threatened or penalized if the risk that you take proves not to work out the way you would like it to. As Bruce Dillingham describes it, the value system at Enfield creates a high trust society. Their own hour schedules have their own business cards, office space, and computer terminals. They work directly with vendors and customers, too. A lot is expected in developing the kind of behavior teams need to exhibit in order to function productively. Training and social and interpersonal skills is vital to workers or colleagues in a work environment. Teams assume many duties normally reserved for management. They select new employees, train themselves, evaluate performance, and administer their own pay system. Enfield's managers are enablers, allocating resources, leading the decision process, managing boundaries, and translating corporate goals into plant goals. The management style in Enfield is, is certainly not what one would call classical, particularly if one thinks in American society as an autocratic type of a management system. In Enfield, it's an enabling environment that's really nurturing learning. And in order to do that, your style as a manager has to change as well as your behavior. And the role modeling that one wants to do and has to learn to do over time is one that talks to coaching. It's one that talks to training and teaching. It, it's one that talks to fostering maximization, again, of people's talents. An organizational chart of Enfield shows that it is structured around its product lines, large disk, small disk, and tape with three independent lines of equipment within the plant. Each product group has four teams. There are two support groups in the plant, one technical, the other administrative. The support groups provide a depth of knowledge and technical expertise that operating teams can draw upon to solve problems and grow. Enfield's different than other digital uh, plants in that the way we're organized to do the work is uh, different. And the way we choose to do the work is all the work is done closest uh, to the team to actually build the product. Decisions are made closest to the work, and information is available to support this decision-making process. The plant's computing needs are taken care of by the VAX cluster that links together both the workstations and the manufacturing equipment by Ethernet. Digital's Baseway software monitors the manufacturing process, while all-in-one, an integrated office solution drives the sophisticated intraplant communications using electronic mail between shifts, between people, between operating and support teams, and the rest of digital. There is room for growth, personal growth, within oneself, and that's to broaden your skill level uh, for future, future advancement. Uh, you get to learn new technologies and new ways of doing work. In order to succeed, Every organization must reward its employees. At Enfield, for the operating teams, this takes the form of skill-based pay to maximize talents and ability to grow. Individual success assumes both horizontal and vertical paths. Vertical growth is a familiar concept, but a horizontal progression allows employees to broaden their perspectives and increase their own capabilities. At Enfield, the goal is not to become a manager, but to be an exceptional team member the challenge to incorporate personal goals with those of team, plant, and corporation. I think the, uh, we've really got to look at what people value, what getting ahead means to the individual. And I think getting ahead doesn't always mean a vertical growth for individuals. I think getting ahead in a lot of cases under, it means understanding what you're doing maybe more fully, being, being enriched, your self-enrichment, seeing how your contribution impacts the total. Those are the type of things. The results at Enfield after two years of operation, remarkable. Plant startup was on schedule. 40% time reduction in the standard module assembly process. One day cycle time, balanced line, continuous flow, and daily shipments are the norm. Just in time inventory system with no incoming inspections, stock rooms, or buffers. Product yields have doubled. Equivalent output with half the people and half the space. Scrap has been reduced by half. 
one million dollar savings on the cost of the facility. 40% reduction in overhead, resulting in a low break even. The high level of responsiveness and flexibility resulting from ownership and commitment. People enjoy coming to work. The underlying lesson of Enfield is that the problem of productivity in the American workplace can be overcome if we more fully utilize the abilities of people along with advanced technology and innovative manufacturing methods. The processes and concepts described here are readily transferable. The realization that management of the human resource is an evolving technology promises that we are seeing only the tip of the iceberg in terms of the potential for productivity. Teamwork. Creativity. Flexibility. Self-reliance. The characteristics would control, not just for business, but for people as well.